Welcome Parrish and Jackie RB10 fans. The workshop may look a little empty, and that's because it is. So I was able on Monday with the help of Rust to be able to get all of the empennage parts out to the my local EA chapter has a hangar, and we were able to get everything safely stowed away into there. Um, and so that's all put up and out of the way and safely at a hangar that I will probably not be using for final assembly, but one never knows. But anyhow, so we got to work on the wing kit. The um, crate that you was on the floor there is now all put away. Everything's put up. Most of the skins are uh, up top there. I think we can show it and you can see them up there. The fuel tanks, the leading edge for the bottom top skins, everything's up there. Um, over here, you guys, I know last week saw me talking about these parts here. Well, they're still here. Nothing has really changed with them. I'm guessing that once uh, I'm waiting for some primer to dry, I'll get these assembled up. Um, but I've just been so excited about the spars. It's kind of like a kid at Christmas where it's something new, and so we want to do that something new. Play with our new toys. Um, these spars take a ton of work and a ton of effort to get prepared for uh, putting the ribs on. <coughs> um, the top side on both of them is complete, and I'm actually doing both spars simultaneously. Some guys do one complete wing and then come back and do the other complete wing. I made the decision a while back that I wanted to do both wings simultaneously, so we're doing both wings simultaneously as much as possible. There's some sections that that obviously can't happen, but um, right now, um, the top side, uh, everything's been countersunk. The nut plates are installed, as you can see, both sides, um, for the top side. Now I need to flip these, or swap positions with them, and then do the bottom sides. We gotta do the bottom side nut plates here, we got nut plates here, We've got to do all the countersinking throughout here. Um, it's quite a bit of work. So um, Russ came over this week and helped me probably put in um, five, six hours or so, and I probably put in about 10 to 12. So quite a bit of effort and not a whole lot to show for it. I definitely get it why people do quick build kits because you just kind of chug and chug and chug and you don't really feel like you're getting anywhere, but you really are. So. Um, once again, the extensions were already done. <clears throat> also, we did the, uh, up here that you can see going through the windows of the cabin top. Those are all the J channels. So when you put the J channels in, it'll talk about putting the J channels, uh, nesting them inside of each other. Well, that nesting only occurs for a couple of inches. I believe it's right around in here or so. Um, but when I first was looking at it, uh, it was kind of unclear with the instructions, but we got that all figured out. Um, and then it says, put them away. You won't need them for a while. Well, you don't need them until you put the top skin on. So yeah, it's quite a while before I'll need them. So anyway, there's the update for this week. Um, I've got to go to work tomorrow, but hopefully next week we can get the bottom completed and countersunk and all the nut plates on and uh, the tie down bar is done and that will require that priming me to do a little priming so when that happens maybe i'll get those uh, uh middle ribs that i showed you guys over there get those all completed and put away uh, but anyway till next time thanks for watching